Hello, my name is Joel Garner with Motorola Solutions, and I'm the go-to-market sales leader for the Motorola Solutions Talk 100 radio. So what is the Talk 100 radio? It is a purpose-built two-way radio, network-enabled for both LTE and Wi-Fi, with built-in GPS and Bluetooth 4.2 low energy services. Uh, it also is IP54 rated for durability and uh, water resistant. So some of the customer pain points would be things like wider area coverage, i.e. the nation or large geographic footprint, or they might need incremental capacity if they're already uh, a radio customer on an LMR radio system such as Moto Turbo. So coverage, capacity, and also GPS tracking of their workforce out in the field. How does the Talk 100 help your customer prospects with the pain points that we just discussed? First and foremost, it has very wide area coverage, nationwide service uh, LTE across the Verizon network. Uh, number two, you can GPS track these devices with our dispatcher console or our mobile app riding on either an Android or an iOS phone. Um, so super wide area coverage. Finally, if they've got a Moto Turbo system, this radio can integrate and share talk groups, private IDs, and private calls across LMR into the broadband. Or it can be used as a simple broadband to broadband only standalone device. So what are some of the questions that you might ask your prospects to determine whether or not it's a good fit, the Talk 100 is a good fit for them? First and foremost, how are they communicating today? If they already have an LMR radio system, in all likelihood, they've already justified the need for a push to talk service. Do they have enough capacity? Do they have enough coverage? It really will boil down to coverage, capacity, and uh, is their current radio system fulfilling their needs? If they happen to be using cell phone to cell phone today, we all know that's a rather inefficient way to communicate, probably a, a much easier path to take them down, push to talk, release to listen, instant communications, and the ability to see where those assets are on a GPS map in front of their dispatchers. So it's very important to understand who's in the audience when you're at the table with your prospects and customers talking about the Talk 100. One might be an economic buyer like the chief finance officer of the company. That person's interested in a return on investment. Or you as a field service organization, heating and air, plumbing, whatever the case may be, are you able to get another service call a day uh, across your company as a result of having the product? Uh, they're also going to be interested in the cost. The Talk 100 really plays well there because it's a flat fee of $35 a month with nationwide service. So you might also have a technical buyer in the room. That person's really interested in, is the product rugged enough for the environment in which they work? Is the product easy to deploy? Is it easy to scale? Uh, as in the Talk 100, super easy to scale. Adding more units is simply a matter of ordering the units, receiving the units, and then programming the units over the air via the Wave on Cloud portal. So you might also have a user buyer in the room. That's somebody that would carry the product every day and use the product. And they're going to be interested in, is this a good tool in my toolkit to be able to use and collaborate with my colleagues in real time with nationwide coverage across whatever footprint they may be working on so that I can be able to finish the jobs that have been tasked to me as opposed to being able to not finish the task or go back with a worksheet that, that's incomplete. So another buyer would be a coach buyer. This is somebody that's really your Motorola Solutions champion inside the account. They're concerned in all likelihood is going to be how does the product really work long term for that company? Uh, how does it make them look long term in the company? So that person's wanting to understand is this product durable? Is it a good tool for our toolkit? Does it really help our overall environment? Does it help our customer service improve as a result of having real-time communications and GPS tracking with all of our employees? Where do you find the resources for helping you sell the TLK100, assuming that you're a TLK dealer. Number one, waveoncloud.com has the technical resources as well as the marketing material. Number two, they're all on Partner Central. And number three, if you are not yet a Talk 100 dealer, but you're interested in becoming a Talk 100 dealer, please work directly with your CAMs. They know the process and they can walk you through it step by step. And finally, thank you very much for watching the video and uh, good selling.